All right, this is chapter one, lesson nine, direct variation. This is the last lesson for chapter one. All right, so direct variation also has to deal with constant rate of change and slope, which are all things that we've been talking about this entire chapter. So a linear relationship is a blank blank when the ratio of y to x is a constant k. We say y varies directly with x. In those two blanks, you're going to write direct variation. So a linear relationship is a direct variation when the ratio of y to x is a constant k. We say y varies directly with x. So y over x equals k or y equals x times k where k cannot be zero. Okay? When two variable quantities have a constant ratio, their relationship is called a blank blank. In those two blanks, you're going to write direct variation. The constant ratio is called the blank, 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 or constant of variation. The constant of variation is also known as the blank, blank, blank. In those blanks, you're going to write constant of proportionality. In a direct variation equation, the constant rate of change, or blank, is assigned a special variable k. In that blank, you're going to write slope. So, when two variable quantities have a constant ratio, the relationship is called a direct variation. The constant ratio is called the constant of variation. The constant of variation is also known as the constant of proportionality. In a direct variation equation, the constant rate of change, or slope, is assigned a special variable k. All right, I have two examples. The time it takes Lucia to pick pints of blackberries is shown in the graph. Determine the constant of proportionality. Since the graph forms a line, the rate of change is constant. Use the graph to find the constant of proportionality. Okay. So for every 15 minutes, she picks one pint of blueberries. Or I could do 30 minutes, two, and that simplifies to 1 15. Okay. 45 over 3 or 15 over 1, either way. So it takes 15 minutes for Lucia to pick one pint of blackberries. In my second example, there are 12 trading cards in the package. Make a table and graph to show the number of cards in the packages. Is there a constant rate, a direct variation? Okay, so number of packages, I have one package for 12 cards. Two packages is 24 cards, three is 36, and four is 48. I've graphed that information. Because there's a constant increase of 12, each time I go up by 12, there's a constant rate of change, okay? So you can always double check that there's a constant rate of change, it goes up by the same number. The equation relating the variables is y equals 12x, okay? So y equals 12x, so the number of cards is y, number of packages is x, where y is the number of cards and x is the number of packages, this is a direct variation. The constant of proportionality is 12. Okay. It varies directly, meaning if my x changes, my y also changes. All right. All right, there are two try problems out below. I want you to go ahead, pause the video, try them out, and when you're done, we'll go over the answers together. All right, now that you've had a chance to try out the try problems, let's go over the answers together. So the first try problem I have is two minutes after a driver enters the a diver enters the water, he has descended 52 feet. After five minutes, he has descended 130 feet. At what rate is the scuba diver descending? So I need to first, so 52 feet, he enters the water and just after two minutes. So that's my first one, 130 over five. So 52 feet in two minutes, 130 feet in five minutes. I need to figure out if these are equal to each other, if they have a constant rate. Okay. 
52 divided by 2 gives me 26, and 130 divided by 5 also gives me 26. So my constant rate is 56 feet per minute. This is also my unit rate. Constant rate of change, unit rate, slope. All right? For my second problem, two pounds of cheese cost $8.40. Show the cost of one, two, three, and four pounds of cheese. Is there a direct variation? Explain. So I'm going to go ahead and make a table. So this is pounds and price. One pound of cheese, two pounds of cheese, they tell me cost $8.40. When I divide this, this gives me $4.20. So that means this is going to be $12.60. This will be $16.80. Okay. There is a direct variation. There's a constant rate. Okay. So there is a constant of proportionality. Constant rate of change is 420. The equation is y equals 4.20x. This is a direct variation. The constant of proportionality is 420, $4.20. Okay. So again, make sure you've explained your reasoning. So that is the end of chapter one, lesson nine, and the end of chapter one altogether.